What's happening, guys? Solid Mike, Super Trending Gym, Mark Bell's Powercast with a little bit of squat updates for you. Shit's getting a little heavy, starting to peak, starting to taper off the volume, push the weight a little bit. Who knows what percent I'm dealing with today, but hopefully around an opener, maybe just light of an opener. I've showed you guys a bunch of my fake warm-ups and joking around and shit, but I'd like to show you a little bit of my real warm-up. Jamming, I'm always still dancing, but hip circle in. I hip circle around the gym probably, I don't know, three to five minutes. Then I take the bar for a bunch, hip circle some more, put my belt, wraps, everything where I'm going to work out with the hip circle on, hiking around the gym. And then I'm done. That's about it for me. Today, Coach J. Ham, Jeremy Hamilton, had me working uh, four to six sets of doubles at 495 pounds. So, uh, if you haven't heard before, but basically he, had, he gives me a set range because he wants me to be fast, to lift perfectly, to work on my form and not grind. So I tried to be as fast as I could. I ended up with about five doubles. Um, obviously, I could have kept going six, seven, eight sets or so, but the speed might have not been the same. Uh, I just felt my back get a little fatigued. I had pulled earlier uh, in the week pretty heavy about three days before this. So just with general fatigue, I still just wanted to be perfect, as perfect as I could be. Things felt really good. The weight's starting to feel lighter and lighter on my back. Uh, it's good that my squats and deadlifts feel good because my bench feel terrible. I don't know who's jacking up my camera. It's probably smelly, actually. Always messing with me. They don't understand. I'm out here on the grind. I'm trying to do my shit. And they're just throwing up the peace signs. Here's, a, I think, third set or so. Like I said, it felt light on my back. My bench is feeling a little jacked up. Shoulders just a little angry. So it uh, gives me a lot of confidence that my squat and deadlift are moving well. Still moving fast. Going into the last two or three weeks here. I am two to three weeks out. I don't know what weight class I'll be in. I'll probably just weigh in whatever I weigh. Right now it's probably about 215 pounds. I don't really care. It's two hour weigh-ins. My main goal is just to out total my last total. My last total was at 198 but it was in knee wraps. So if I outdo that and I'm a little bit heavier, that's okay with me. Not gunning for any world records, not gunning for any championship. Just trying to do uh, the best I can on this given day uh, because I had a couple of weeks to prep for it. We travel a bunch with work, uh, podcasting and slingshotting around the nation, different expos and different events. So to have eight weeks straight that I could train felt great. Here's Smelly getting back under the bar. He jacked up his pec a little bit, benching 600 pounds or attempting 600 pounds, should I say. And before that, his knee had been hurting him, so he, he that's why he only did bench only. I think he wanted to squat and deadlift, but here he is with about 500 pounds on the camber bar, just getting some weight on his back again, box squatting. Mark's an amazing box squatter. It's just what he did for a very long time. So I think that's a good way for him to ease back into squatting uh, without blowing up his knees and tightening up his quads. That happens with a lot of people. If you get really tight quads or really tight hams, it can pull on your knee and you can get some knee pain. I think that's uh, one of Mark's major issues here's second to last set got all my spotters in town all the guys basically just competed the couple of weeks ago so it's cool for them to try to help me out a little bit they're going into a little more cruise mode a little bit of off season but i'm still pushing forward all by myself actually filipino thunder is competing uh, a couple of the ladies in the gym i think are competing and then uh, my homie austin baumgarten will also be competing usapl meet um in early december not sure when this video will come out but Hopefully I'll update you guys as I go further into my meet and then I'll also uh, get some meat footage telling you guys how my day feels, how I feel mentally, physically, how everything's going and of course uh, my three attempts. Another goal is just to go nine for nine. Not to sandbag but to be fast on all three attempts, clean on all three attempts of all three lists. That's it for me guys. Thanks for checking it out. Share that bitch, subscribe that bitch, like that bitch and I'm out of here. Thanks guys. Let's go!